Okay guys, a friend of mine asked me, can you make a catapult set of plans for a CNC? And do you think it would make an interesting video? And I said, maybe. Let me start designing it. So I turned on uh, QuickTime screen record and here you see me in Illustrator laying out the parts. And I have not sketched this at all. I do have experience making a catapult. This summer we made one for something special, which you'll see eventually. But we made a big one, and here I'm making a tiny one on a CNC with a set of plans that I'll be giving away ultimately. But I'm calling this video Part 1 R&D, me figuring it out. And like I said, here in Illustrator, I'm just laying out what conceptually in my mind I think it should be. Uh, I don't really have the patience to go to Fusion 360, and I don't necessarily need to because... I can see all this 3D in my mind. I know what's left, what's right. I'm making axles. I'm making wheels. I'm making, uh, this is going to be a cutout because the, the pivot arm is going to swing through this support. So I just need to get rid of it. And uh, I use the uh, Pathfinder quite a bit. The, um, the, the shapes are, a lot of times I make shapes and use them to cut other shapes. I use the pen tool a lot. And uh, you'll notice uh, how I combine shapes. And I use the smart guides. It helps shapes find the center of other shapes. And uh, at a risk of doing a boring illustrator lesson, I just show you fast forward. And again, you see me using shapes to cut other shapes. And what I'm making here is the swing arm for the catapult. And I'm just laying it in place, thinking where it might live. I got some detents, so the string, ultimately, that I'll use as the spring mechanism doesn't slide up or down it. And I'm in the middle of making this one, and I was like, you know what, let me make another one. Let me try a different shape, a different approach. Because I was kind of hung up on the, uh, the latching mechanism. I wanted to incorporate it into the CNC, but uh, I couldn't really quite figure it out exactly. So I said, let me make both of them in the layout. And I'll figure out which one is the one. And then I decided to make a scoop that's going to carry whatever it is we throw. Um, something tells me I'm going to be throwing cat treats. So I made a little scoop that I could drop some cat treats in there. And uh, now I'm ready for my final layout on the CNC machine. And just trying to make an economic layout. This doesn't take up much space. This is like 18 by 20 inches. Of material and I brought it into Vectrix and I did my cut path in Vectrix and here you see my preview in Vectrix and ready to go to CNC but first this commercial break with the doors closing this upcoming Thursday if you're looking for a final Christmas gift or just something very cool that you can unbox when it arrives I released the Duresta razor box if you're watching this before Thursday you could still click the link in the description below and inside you'll find the razor box that includes my giant razor blade, my nine inch Duresta skeleton knife, die cast belt loop, the brass raised stamp sticker, the New York I make plate, iron on patch, plus all those who purchase, I will be hosting an exclusive live Q and A just for you, where you can bring your questions. I will be there to answer all things making and life as a creator on YouTube, but the doors to taking orders will close this upcoming Thursday. So simply click the link in the description below and snag yours before Christmas. And as always, thank you very, very much. Thank you for sitting through that. Now here we are just coming fresh off the CNC machine. This is half inch Baltic birch and I'm just pulling apart. I put one tab in the small stuff and two tabs in the bigger stuff. And it's really important to have tabs because if your piece goes flying, you're going to definitely break a cutting head. And that's, that's a real pain in the butt. Now here I am sanding my parts. And I know because I did not put dog bones in anything, I know that things aren't going to fit together well. So with the razor blades and with sanding and with files, I'm rounding over parts that intersect with other parts. And I'm only making one. This isn't going to be a kit. I'm, I will offer up the plans once I finalize them. And uh, anybody could make this if they want. But what you see here is the, uh, I'm, I wanted to point out, I have this chunk of steel that I'm using as like my wooden anvil. And I'm test fitting the parts, making sure everything fits together. But by banging on that anvil, I'm able to get a nice pushback on the hammer. And everything fits somewhat snug, which is great, because then I don't have to worry about it literally falling apart. 
And this is a little ring I made that's going to catch the food so that when it throws, it's basically like a little toss cup. And I put it off center so that I know it wasn't a wheel. But again, again, it was a different size anyway, so it didn't really matter. And now I need to add string that is going to be the springing launching mechanism. And I just used some construction, construction layout string, whatever you might call that. And it certainly is nylon. And in this part of the clip, you see me build it up. And then by the end of this clip, I test it. But once the camera went off again, I put a lot more string on. But you can't really tell. Because that color is so vibrant, just even a little bit of it looks like a lot. And here I am just, you see how I was able to, <laughs> I shot the arm. You see how I have to lay it out. I'm just wrapping the string around it. The back axle fell off. The wheels don't spin. They don't need to. It's just for show. I'm terminating the string right there with a little hole through the frame. I'm just tying a knot on the other side. And I'm testing the springiness. And you'll notice that cross member is going to grab it so it'll stop and shoot. And again, this is my, my breadboard. I conceived of this completely in, in the brain and then on Illustrator. And then once I get some real life scenarios, I need to make some adjustments. And right now when that shoots, it lands exactly 90 degrees right there. I find that it was shooting the material, whatever I was shooting, just a couple feet right in front of it again at the ground. So I needed to stop that swing a little bit higher. And you'll notice by uh, in a few clips, you'll see I, I added a little piece of scrap to it, which was the inside of the cup. I cut it in half. And just to tighten and tension up those strings, I tied some string around them on either side. That also kept the pivot arm where it should be. And then I put a little bit of PVA glue on it just to keep the knots from untying. And now, like I said, that stops at 90 degrees. Ultimately, you'll see in a second. Oh, I need to make the latching mechanism, which I didn't think through while I was laying it out in Illustrator. I figured I would just make a brass hook somehow, some way later. And just banging it on my little desktop anvil, getting the bends in it, Trying to make the most economical switch I could think of out of just one piece of material. I needed more material there. So in the next batch, the next round, I will add that material there that's going to carry the, carry the locking mechanism. And instead of making pivots, I'm just going to put loose screws in it. So that latch will pivot on loose screws. You need two so it doesn't spin and twist in space. So I just put two little simple screws in there, and then that begins to grab the, the latch that was on the CNC part. And then there with the green tape, you could see where I increased the stopper so that the pivot stops a little bit shy of 90 degrees. And now I'm just going to play around with a little bit of slow-mo. And this is slow-mo on the Go, the iPhone, rather. Look at that. Kablooey. And it could use improvement. And I will improve it for video part two and look at that just having some fun and I thought what could I do with this if this is a catapult what could it be I right away thought I could play with my cats so I brought it over to the house playing with the cats and I just started shooting some food so enjoy me shooting some food for the cats and I'm going to improve this and next week you'll see version 2 after all of the playing around. Look at that. And because we put a new door in the basement, we elected to clean the basement up. That's why it's cleared out. That dummy. And if you're still watching, I thank you very much.